Hello Jack, we are using the Filmic Pro and I'm going to show you uh, the first thing we're going to use Filmic Pro for and that is getting better green screen. Now one of the problems with using the front facing camera is that it's a lower quality camera than the back facing camera and we want the highest quality camera possible when we're doing green screen because the key itself is a complex operation and the better quality of an image we have, the better quality our key is. However, using the front facing camera is very convenient because we can see ourselves and it allows us to do self filmmaking very conveniently. The first setting we're going to change is in the Filmic Pro. We're going to go into the settings and we're going to switch it on quality to Filmic Extreme. This is gonna give us a much bigger file size than the file sizes we've been working with, but we haven't been recording things that are that long, so our file size has not become too much of a problem. That extra file size is gonna allow more information to be contained in each frame of film that goes by. And we need as much of that information because we wanna get the cleanest green. When it compresses the information, one of the places that it takes it out of is the colors because you can shave a little bit of information off of the color without making the image look too terrible. And that's fine, it's actually not that noticeable to the eye, but it's not our eye that's looking at the green in the image, it's the computer that's looking at the green and the better quality the green is that we get, the better key, meaning the more information it's gonna be able to extract out of that, we're gonna get. The next thing you notice is as I move around, and especially when I move out of the frame, you're gonna see this shift in the brightness and darkness of that green in the background, especially when I bring my hands up. My hands are very white because I have light skin. And so when I bring these into the frame, it introduces a lot of light color that the camera sees and it darkens the image automatically to compensate. That's its automatic feature that it's doing, which is perfectly fine when we're out moving around. But here, what it's doing is it's changing the tone of the background, and that's difficult because our key has to adjust over those shifts in color and shifts in density, and it doesn't do a very good job of that. So when I leave the frame, it becomes lighter, and when I bring my hands into the frame, it becomes darker, and those parts of the key get messed up and that's seen with lots of kind of speckly things in the background. The way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna lock our exposure and we're gonna lock our focus. The way to lock your exposure is to take your circle, to drag it over your face, and then to tap on it once until it turns red. Now it's locking our exposure. Now as I move in and bring my hands up and down, you notice the background doesn't change at all. We're gonna lock our focus as well that's our square, drag the square over the face, and then click it once until it's red. Now those are locked in place, and as I move around, it's not going to autofocus. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our white balance, and that's the colors down at the bottom. I'm gonna click on those, it's a little red color wheel. And right now it's set to auto white balance. We wanna turn that auto white balance off by clicking on it once. What that's going to do is as I move around, it's not going to shift the colors all around on me. Now with those three locked in place, we're going to be able to get a really good keyed out image. And I'm going to start with the first take that we're going to do, which is called, Oh no, I got a new virus. Oh boy, Jack. Oh, there's something really wrong. I got a new virus, I uh, made a mistake, I broke quarantine, and I, well, I, I went to China. I know, you're not even supposed to leave the house, and I, I went to China, and I got this bug. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the coronavirus, like I'm not coughing, <laughs> no, I feel fine, I, I can smell. That's fine, but there's something terribly wrong with me. I think there's a new bug out there. Oh, all I can say is this, don't break quarantine and don't go to China. And oh, 
I don't know what to do. I feel terrible. I don't have a cough, but I just feel awful. I'm afraid I'm going to die. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, well. Um, I'll keep checking in, but I hope this gets better. And I sure as hell hope you don't catch it. This is a terrible disease. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh.